We were just a gang of lost hivers. I'm Callista, the brain of the group. Sitaka is my right hand. I met him when I was leaving Hive many years ago. He just joined me for no obvious reason. Topiro is our tank. I bought him from slavers in heft for 5000 cats. Best money spent, I can tell you. Finally, Darido and Mumutoro who are arguing a lot. In fact, I met them brawling for a piece of dry bread. So I split the bread, gave both of them piece of dried meat and somehow became their idol. Usually, people hire us to guard them or their stuff. This time, we got a contract from UC Noble in Stoke. He wanted us to escort his caravan to Admech, then Clownstead and back. Long way, but he was paying a lot. Looked like easy money to me, so I agreed. We hit the road in the morning. The journey through desert was peaceful. I saw some outlaws in the distance, but they figured out pretty quickly that they stand no chance against us. The test was ahead of us in the form of Iron Valley. Frankly, it is safer for us to go through acid rain and iron spiders than lay our foot on fertile land full of Orkans fanatics. We traveled during night through the valley, fought some iron spiders and got out in the morning. Followed the river a bit, passed Hub, and eventually got to Admech right before dawn. We spent the night here. I wasn't sleeping well, so I went for some fresh air early in the morning and met Setaka, doing just the same thing. We talked a bit and then he asked me if I think about Queen. I was confused and said no. And you? He remained silent. Anyway, we left Admech in the afternoon. Our next stop was Clownster. But I noticed that we are heading to swamps. Honestly, one of the worst places to be in. I had a word with Caravan Boss and he told me that the contract changed, that we are not going to Clown City, but heading to Sharp. It was very clear why we are heading there. Hashish. I told him we are not going, since this was not part of the contract. He stopped and offered me right on the spot triple the cats we were promised. You cannot simply say no to that. Gang was in, so was I. I thought these hivers are just selling crappy lamps to poor humans and instead they are smuggling hashish. No wonder they hired us to protect their asses. At the border we broke camp to get some rest, but I barely closed my eyes. In the morning we traveled deep into the swamps. I was nervous, suspicious about every rock and every twisted route. But nothing happened and we actually reached shark in one piece. The bargain was quick. Half an hour and we were heading back to Stod with Garus packed with hashish. I was more confident now that we will make it through. If I only knew what was going to happen. After the carnage, I was looking for my gang. I found Sadaka first, in terrible state. I kneeled to him 
and was ready to aid him even though I knew it was pointless as I heard his broken voice. Do you think that the queen will take me back? That she will ever forgive me? I just... I remain silent as I felt his body getting cold and his life slipping away. Hurry, they said. We have to go. I finally moved and we both together with the rest of the caravan 